hello students so in this lecture uh, we shall discuss about um, a method to mine the stress in thin films and that it is called uh, bending uh, plate beam method Now, in this uh, method, the uh, stress in thin films that it mind and uh, it has a very small substrate thickness. We assume that the film is deposited on a substrate. Uh, is having a thickness of around uh, 0 0.1 millimeters and the uh, subset we consider as uh, glass or mica and this stress is uh, uh, related to a lot of uh, properties like uh, mechanical properties then uh, electron transport magnetic properties superconducting properties and even optical properties so that is why determination of stress is very important now if we look about, if we consider stress, we need to first consider whether uh, the stress is isotropic or not. So, if we consider an isotropic stress, that is, the stress is uniform in all the direction, and if we denote it by the quantity S, then, uh, and it is, we assume that it is in equilibrium with resultant strain. So, it is in equilibrium with uh, resultant strain that occurs on the substrate uh, so that stress is can be uh, represented as S is equal to 8 uh, substrate modulus Ds uh, d square and the thing from thickness divided by 3 L square uh, T into 1 minus nu multiplied by another term which I am using a different current divided by 1 plus ES by EF into sorry into T is uh, multiplied by uh, 1 plus uh, ES by EF that is the elastic modulus of substrate and film ratio into T by D uh, where uh, this is elastic modulus of the substrate uh, D is the thickness of the substrate and deposit the thickness uh, L is the mean free path this is the film, film thickness T this is substrate thickness D and this is the Poisson's ratio and now this factor uh, 1 by 
this this factor uh, represented by 1 by 1 minus mu uh, is uh, not required for a cantilever uh, geometry uh, and it is assumed that it is equal to 1.5 now if the uh, film is uh, very uh, thick uh, is a very thin or very thin film that means T much much less than D uh, okay the, the this the previous equation this is known as Stoney's equation and it is a very common equation to determine the stress of thin films now uh, so uh, if in this case the Stoney's equation uh, is now gives a different color to you. Is uh, S is equal to uh, sin of S d square divided by six R. Uh, T into uh, 1 minus nu so an extra R term has been introduced so this, this R is nothing but radius of curvature of the uh, deposit it's the radius of curvature after Deposit deposition because uh, there is has uh, due to due to stress there is a change in the deposit absorbed so this is the film and if uh, this is the substrate which is developed on the film it will not be exactly like this the shape will be little curved. So curvature so this is basically uh, tensile stress. And if it is in the opposite direction, that means like this, then then this is the uh, compressive stress. So for tensile stress, the value is positive. For compressive stress, the value is negative. Now, in a bending plate uh, cantilever uh, methods. Measure directly the product S into T is equal to F, which means the stress into the film thickness gives you the force F, and this F is nothing but uh, uh, force force per unit width from which the average stress is calculated and from this force we calculate the average stress S and uh, instantaneous stress is also defined sometimes here by dt where t is the film thickness and uh, uh, stress determined from XRD by peak shift and uh, uh, phase from electron diffraction, uh, all the characteristics we assume that the stress is isotropic. We assume that S is isotropic. And uh, S is given as, so the stress is given as uh, EF full modulus A0 minus a uh, divided by 2 percent ratio of the film into a0 uh, 
uh, where a0 and a are lattice, lattice constants uh, a0 and a are these are the lattice constants uh, this is for the bulk and this is for the film what is the percentage ratio of the film Now we assume that this lattice constant A uh, uh, it is perpendicular to the fill plane. So that is constant and it is uh, perpendicular to the film plane. And uh, so if if on the other hand, we assume that the A is so in this case that the previous equation uh, holds that we have this in this case. This is uh, assuming that A is perpendicular to the plane. However, if uh, we assume that A is uh, uh, in the plane of the film, then the equation uh, changes. Now, the Stoner's equation or the stress. Determination equation now uh, is uh, E divided by 1 minus F and A minus A0 by A0. So there is a slight change. So you can compare it with the previous one. Here it was 2. Um, you have A0 minus A by A. Now it has changed to A minus A0 by A0. Then let's compare these two once again. So it was uh, E S divided by 2 mu F A0 minus A by A in the previous case. A F and uh, this is assuming um, A perpendicular to the plane and this is assuming A parallel to the plane. So you have two equations. And uh, well in, uh, from x side we can determine the stress x side is used to determination of stress by uh, peak broadening. Sorry, not exactly uh, from the diffraction lines. Okay, can you call it as exactly exactly diffraction exactly lines? Exactly lines. I'm not doing the exactly what we get in exactly plot. Exactly by exactly lines. I mean by what you get in the diffraction pattern. That is a low spot. Or if you're using an uh, TM. You will get an SED pattern. So broadening of those lines, this will indicate that there is a diminution of stress. There is stress in the film. It can be used to determine stress.